What is going on YouTube? Gab here and welcome to this new video. So today I want to show you the progress of Wine Gaming. And in particular, I want to show you how to run Fallout 4 on Wine using a little thing called DXVK. So DXVK is this little tool that reinterprets DirectX 11 calls to Vulkan. So you're basically able to run DirectX 11 games, uh, so uh, most recent games, directly on your Linux machine using Vulkan as a renderer. And even if the project is so young, I'm very surprised by what I'm getting. Uh, we're talking about games that weren't previously playable, uh, that just work on Linux, and that's an awesome thing in my book. So I've been able to play Fallout 4 on my PC, and the compatibility list for the XVK games is growing every day. Uh, you should probably check out the uh, Wine Gaming subreddit for more information on what games do run and what games uh, kind of run and how to run them. And today I want to show you how I'm doing it. So with no further ado guys, let's check it out. So guys, uh, to run Fallout 4 on your PC, it takes uh, some steps, but it's not too difficult. So uh, the first thing you, you have to do right now is to recompile Wine with some patches. And I will show you how to apply your custom patches to, to Wine and build it on Arch. And why am I showing instructions for Arch? Because it's really easy to make a package for Arch using package builds. And if you're running with any other distro, uh, there are probably ways of doing this without uh, making a proper package. I know that if you if you have Lutris, uh, it's written like this, you have basically uh, a wide selection of wine versions and there should be a version patched specifically for Fallout. Basically, this, this patch is a workaround for a bug that prevents the game from starting. So you can download these files from this website here. I will make sure to put the link down in the description. Um, here you will need all of these files. So 30 win 30 aliases, package build, harmony fix, ymbin, fmt, and wide.install. Once you have downloaded every single one of these files, just put it into a directory, in my case, git aur wine staging. So all you have to do to patch wine is, first of all, you have to identify the patches that you want to apply. In my case, I'm applying this patch over here and this other one, but you should be good to go with just the first one. I, I will put this in the description as well. So this fallout 4 fixdiff you can call it whatever, just remember how you called it. So you're gonna wanna edit the package build. I'm using Vim right now, you can use whatever editor you prefer. You have to go to, to this source list here delimited by these two parentheses. Just for my convenience, I added, I added my patches after this harmony fix here, and you have to add them, otherwise uh, the make package command will not find uh, the patches you want to apply. So uh, after harmony fix, I, I just write fallout for that fix dot diff and just ignore this fo4 that patch I, I am still applying this but it shouldn't be needed anymore you have to add the line for for sha if i want to sums and since i i manually copy pasted some of these files the sha aren't exactly the same so i replace some of the the checksums with uh skip this means that it doesn't check the the actual checksum and it, it just accepts whatever file you throw in it if it is in this source list over here. So uh, you just count uh, which line is your fallout fix line in the source. So it's one, two, and three, four. It's the fourth line. You just go to uh, this, uh, this other list, SHA 512 sums, and you just count one, two, three, four and you just add a line. So the fourth line, uh, you will need to add a new one and just write skip like this. So once you added this line in the in the sums list, you have to scroll down the file until you reach, uh, yeah, that's it. 
uh, in my file it's line 128 it's uh, close to that anyway so you see here again we have patch the etc harmony fix the tiff you have to copy this line and just paste it over here and replace harmony fix .diff with fallout 4 fix .diff. this would basically uh, patch the source with the fallout fix once you're done just quit save and quit and you have to run the command make package dash s this will install all the dependencies uh, for uh, uh, wine staging and to compile wine staging and once it's done it's gonna download the latest sources they're indicated in the package build and patch them and basically compile wine staging into a working arch package and once you have it compiled it should look something like this this is the package i made and all you have to do is run sudo pacman dash capital u and then uh, the name of the file you want to install there we go so these are the instructions on how to compile wine by yourself i will make sure to put uh, this binary package that i already compiled uh somewhere so that you can download it and install it right away but uh for future updates of wine you should be doing this this compilation by yourself so i really suggest you to try and compile it by yourself it's not difficult but it, and you will need to to do this for future updates anyway or if you need to play any other patch for some other game or something like that so once you have uh wine staging patched for fallout installed all you really have to do is just um, let me just cd to my extra folder all you have to do is make a new wine prefix it's suggested to make a, a fresh wine prefix and to do this you have to write wine arch equals wine 64 space wine prefix equals and then the full path uh, of where you want to to make this prefix so when prefix you have to write the complete path so in my case it's home gabmus or i can replace this with just dollar home written like this slash uh whatever path i want to 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 install my prefix so let's just say i want to do my home i i just write fill out for prefix like this or anything you want really uh as long as it's recognizable this is the the style, the naming scheme I use for my wine prefixes. And then you have to run wine boot dash u, and this will um, create a the new wine prefix and initialize it. So once you have done this command, you have to run wine tricks steam and x act. This x act. Um, wine trick is basically um, for for the audio if you don't install this you will not have any audio in your game so just make sure to to install it right away and uh, you can do it like this but it's probably better if you just do wine tra wine tricks exact and then as a separate command wine tricks steam just because steam will open the installer and prompt you to leave the session open and uh, it's just better if you do it separately so once you have uh, done these two commands you have to run ynCFG and let me actually show you in my uh, real graphics so I run this command wine arch 164 wine prefix and my actual fallout 4 prefix and then run wine CFG this opens the configuration for uh, for wine. So uh, in the wine configuration, you have to go to graphics and uh, enable everything basically. But uh, these the, the the second and the third option will be enabled by default. They don't really matter for what we need to do. You have to enable automatically capture the mouse in full screen windows and emulate virtual desktop. And I suggest you to put in the resolution of the monitor you want to run the game in, just because it will um, just fill the entire monitor and you won't have a window floating with the one virtual desktop. This is needed because Fallout 4 has some issues 
uh, with um, mouse capture, at least on wine. So if you enable the virtual desktop, it doesn't, it does seem to solve the problem, but your mileage may vary. Then you have to go to libraries and uh, you have to set, so don't do everything I have in here. Uh, you just need to set D3, D11 to native. And the way you do this is, let me just remove this so, so I show you. You just uh, write in this uh, combo box here. D3, D11, there you go. You press add and then you press edit and set it to native. You have to do the same thing for uh, DXGI, YNG and uh, YG streamer, but you have to set it to disabled. And then uh, any occurrence of X audio. So X audio two underscore zero up to two underscore nine and set them all to native. It's a tedious process. You have to do it one by one. Once you've done this, you just press apply, press okay. So once you have your wine configured, you have to go to this website. You have to visit this link over here. And again, I will put the link in the description where you can find the latest D3, D11 and DXGI DLL files for wine. These two files actually represent DXVK. So to, to actually install DXVK in your wine prefix, you have to download these two files here and then you have to put them in the uh, your file out for prefix. So you have to put them in your file out for prefix, drive C, Windows, and system32 folder. So you just copy those files and paste them in this path here. And yes, if it prompts to replace some things, just say yes. And so in this way you will have DXVK installed. Once you've done all of this, um, all you have to do is really just running the game. So uh, run Steam through Wine, and the way to do this is, let me just show you Wine. Uh, Fallout for prefix, drive C, program files, x86, Steam, and then steam.exe. Just run this command over here. It will launch Steam inside of Wine. So once you have uh, your Steam client running, and yes, the window is kind of buggy, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you and you download Fallout 4, of course, you need to buy it first if you don't already own it. And just run it. Go to Options. Go to Advanced and turn off God Rays. Otherwise, it won't launch. God Rays just don't work, so just disable them. Uh, tweak your settings. Uh, any way you want, and then just launch the game.
So guys, this is gonna wrap it up. Uh, please tell me if you like this kind of video, like more focused on gaming and wine. And if you like it, maybe I can do some more videos about gaming, about wine, about uh, tutorials on how to getting uh, some games to work well on wine. And just let me know. So again, this is gonna wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Also remember to check out the TechPills website at techpills.technology. I also uh, overhauled it from the last time you probably visited it. Um, I switched to another platform from Django, I switched to Yugo, which is a lot simpler to manage and uh, I'm digressing though. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching guys and I'll be seeing you in the next one.